induction. It is induction. Induction is, it is the act of formulating a universal assertion as a conclusion on the ground of observed singular evidence of instances of the subject. See, on, on any given subject, if we are supposed to form an idea, have a conclusion, then we need not see all points in that subject. If we see if three or four, then we come to a conclusion that the other remaining things also belong to the same. For example, if we observe the behavior of a few Indians, then we will say that all Indians behave like this. If we observe the behavior of a few uh, uh, Germans, then we come to a conclusion that all the Germans belong to such a kind of behavior. So the, like that. Reasoning that attempts to reach a conclusion concerning all the members are uninspected members of a class after inspection of only some of them. For example, there are 1,000 Germans. We have come across uh, some four or five Germans. So then we conclude that all the remaining 1,000 uh, Germans also may be having a similar uh, behavior to that of these uh, four or five known inspected Germans. The remaining uninspected members, though we have not inspected them, still we conclude that they also behave like the earlier Germans. So this kind of feeling, this kind of conclusion, or this kind of process of coming to a conclusion of, acquire, of formulating a knowledge is a process of induction. Inductive knowledge is empirical. So all knowledge that you get through induction is nothing but what we get through our senses. So as such, it is empirical knowledge. The conclusion of an inductive argument, unlike that of a deductive one, is not logically necessary. So it is not deductive one. So only deductive um, are arguments are logically necessary. Only deductive arguments conclude in logical necessities. But these inductive arguments, they need not logically be necessary. Okay, it is not logically be necessary, right? So this is the induction process.